Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Godzilla News of the Day podcast. I saw your comments on, on the last video, the inaugural video that I did, and so far it's getting a decent number of views, so I imagine this will just keep growing. So it looks like things are going pretty good. So as I promised, the whole theme of this is every single day I'll find a news article that I find interesting and I'll share it with everyone here. This time, Yahoo pointed to a very fascinating city within the US never heard of it before there's a good chance that you as well might not have heard of it and there's a double meaning to that too this is because this city is known as the quietest town in America and the reason for that is get this there's no cell phone use no smartphone use no Wi-Fi use and then also no radio use within this town there's a very viable reason for that which I'll get to in a minute but yes it has to do with this location called Green Bank which is located there in it looks like West Virginia if I'm not mistaken it's the most quietest town in America overall you cannot go anywhere else in the country and experience something like this being so quiet I'll include the link below for the information that I'm about to state but yes it has to do with this uh, there's a tower or a radio tower of some kind there that's a largest one the telescope that we have largest one that's mobile within the United States um, and it's called the Green Bank Telescope and it's used by in this case the National Radio Astronomy Observatory although I think someone else took them over but in any case it's used to essentially find and keep track of sound millions of miles away so in other words they have this telescope there to try to catch the sounds that that solar systems that stars that planets make throughout the universe because once they hear a very particular sound that allows them to then pinpoint the telescope to it and then gather more information how sensitive is this we're talking very sensitive it can pick up signals as faint as and this is a direct quote a billionth of a billionth of a millionth of a watt to give you an example the average cell phone will generate about three watts or so so imagine this billionth of a billionth of a millionth when it comes to this 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 thing whenever it gathers its sound and you'll hear uh, no pun intended why this thing has to have a very quiet surrounding so stretching out 13,000 square miles or so it's known as the National Radio Quiet Zone and then this town this Green Bank happens to fall within it so if you can believe this it is a law there you cannot use anything involving cell phones smartphones Wi-Fi or radio the only communication that's allowed within that town is the old traditional landline the kind that's used just pretty much against the wall the cord and then you it rings you answer it well I imagine it doesn't even ring there who knows but in any case that is the only method used to communicate that's uh, I guess cell phone or Wi-Fi or radio related and to further impose that rule there are people that monitor that are pretty much working for that telescope company they monitor the locations they monitor the streets the town itself to make absolutely certain that nobody is making uh, let's say unwanted noises isn't that crazy like they have people that go out and then try to make sure that everything is good I was reading stories about this too like apparently there's uh, the notion that sometimes even tiny sounds that are picked up like like if this telescope they're doing a project and then they 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 start hearing this weird sound but they know it's coming from the town then they have to get these guys out they drive around in a white truck of some kind and people down there in that town know it's only a population of 143 so that's how tiny this town is but the people there know that when this truck is moving or bound that's because somebody is making a noise and a lot of times it's not even a person it's something related to an animal like the tale that I was reading was that for the longest time there was this strange sound that was being picked up in a portion of the town and it turns out it was the sound of a blanket an electrical blanket that was being 
made from a dog. In other words, laying on it, and I guess it triggered the heat within it. Another time, there was another sound made that was pinpointed to, in this case, a squirrel. A squirrel that was chewing on um, some kind of electrical cable, and I guess the electricity within it was pinging uh, like an unusual higher amount of sound. But crazy stuff. Like that's the, that's the kind of stuff that, when I was reading this information, it just blew my mind because this town, again known as the quietest town in America, has to have these laws in order to ensure that these projects, which are the lar some of the largest uh, universe uh, exploring projects in America, the w and uh, they they try to find these sounds that are just hundreds of millions of, mi of light years away. It's insane. But in order to do that, you have to make sure that everything stays quiet. But yes, that just blew my mind. Can you imagine that going to a place like this, which apparently if you do so, you'll start to feel, I'm sorry, uh, your phone, you'll start to have lesser reception until it's outright gone. So how people get around, like let's say trying to use contraband, who knows, or trying to find a way to use the phones that do work around it, who knows. But it's basically like a twilight zone of some kind. It's so crazy, that notion, because it, the people that are apparently tourists, those that visit this town, they're the ones that in turn get uh, get their minds blown by that notion. Could you do that? This is a great test for everyone out there too. Could you do that where you could live in a town back, let's say, in the 80s, back in the 70s? The only thing you have is a rotary phone. You have nothing. You have nothing else. No smartphone, no more apps, no more texting, no more, in this case, Facebook, Instagram, nothing along those lines. Apparently, the people that are there seem to be having a... A good time doing so but I've heard of the cell phone challenge I've heard of the Facebook challenge but this is something else entirely different so quite interesting uh, I would like to hear what your opinions are with regards to this America's quietest town and see if you could last uh, would you think if you visited could you last a day without your cell phone could you last even more who knows I'll include another link too from CNN.com which is uh, more detailed information about this town but quite fascinating i'm so glad that um that the series is turning out a little bit you know better than expected because of the fascinating information that i'm sharing with everyone here so all right everybody thanks again as always take care